Paschal mystery is basically coming into an experience of the death and the resurrection of the Lord. And that we experience that especially in baptism. Uh, if we look at Romans uh, 6, uh, that we use in the baptismal liturgy, but also in the funeral liturgy, that really, I think, encapsulates the Paschal mystery. That did you not know that in baptism you died with Christ to rise with Christ? And that we experience the Paschal mystery in a very unique way in all of our liturgical uh, uh, experiences, especially the Eucharist. The Constitution on the Sacred Liturgy grounds its call for reform in a strong connection between liturgy and the Paschal mystery, which is a term used to describe Christ's suffering, death, and resurrection. The Paschal mystery is the foundation for Catholic practice and identity. The only Christ that's available to us is the risen Lord. And in order to enter into the reality of the risen Lord, he who is part of the triune God, right? We need to undergo his Paschal mystery. We experience the Paschal mystery in the liturgy and in each of the sacraments, beginning with the sacrament of baptism. The act of submerging someone in water is designed to mirror the dying and rising of Christ. It is through this sacrament that we are joined to Christ, and in Christ, we are joined to each other. And I think the Council Fathers wanted us to understand the whole point of our worship, that Christ is dying and rising within the liturgical action, but also within our lives as baptized Christians, because Christ lives in us. And because of the incarnation, Christ is dying and rising in all of creation. So it's the action of Christ whenever reconciliation or peace or justice are coming about. This is Christ being made present in the world. Christ is made present in the liturgy in four distinct ways. First and foremost, Christ is present in the consecrated bread and wine. Second, he is present in the minister of the sacraments. Third, he is present in the scripture, the word of God proclaimed. Finally, he is present in the assembly gathered together. In this fourfold presence, we encounter the Paschal mystery at every liturgy. In receiving the consecrated bread and wine, we take part in Christ's sacrifice. When he presides over the liturgy, the priest becomes the presence of Christ for that assembly. When we hear the word proclaimed, we are hearing the voice of Christ, delivering the wisdom of the Paschal mystery directly to us. And when we gather together as a Christian community, we are transformed from individuals into the mystical body of Christ, his hands and feet living in the world. What we appreciate profoundly is that when we come to the Eucharist or come to any of the other sacraments, the Liturgy of the Hours, even observing the liturgical calendar, we have in signed form the guarantee of actually being engaged by the real event of Christ on the cross and risen from the dead. The Paschal Mystery is. And it's not just contained at Mass. It's in the whole sacramental life of the Church. It's whole sacramental perspective of life. That anything, the weather changes, age changes, men and women change, have different perspectives. All that change is Christ living wrestling with death and resurrection in our own daily lives. It's all Paschal mystery. <laughs>